Hey guys, Dower here with another tech video for you. Tonight I'm going to be taking my Buffalo um, Thunderbolt mini station apart and I'm going to install the 750 gig 7200 RPM drive I currently have in this little USB 2.0 enclosure. I'm going to be putting this in here. The stock Thunderbolt Buffalo drive I have here is the 500 gigabit, gigabyte model that has a 5400 RPM drive in there. So I do want a little faster drive, so I'm going to put a little bigger, a little faster drive. The 750 gig is actually the original drive that came in my um, 20, late 2011 MacBook Pro. Um, obviously, Thunder Thunderbolt. That's what I'm using using this with. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and install this in here. A couple things that you're gonna need, obviously, are you know, Thunderbolt drive. You're gonna need a spare hard drive, whatever drive you intend to put in there. Um, this entire walkthrough I'm doing works exactly the same way for an SSD. Um, I'm just gonna be disassembling this. You will need, you know, like a little toolkit set, and you're going to need a like a hair dryer or, or a heat gun. I would probably use a hair dryer for this because you don't want to overheat the hard drive. Um, the Thunderbolt station is a two-piece design. It's a solid one-piece aluminum shell for the bottom, and the drive and is actually connected to the top plastic piece. Um, the entire thing is held together with just some double-sided tape that resides along the bottom here. So what we want to do is just heat up this area, uh, loosen the adhesive, and then just separate out the drive. So that's what we're going to work on here. I'm going to start off on low. Hot air. Start warming it up. Trying not to tear the double-sided tape in there. I know a lot of guys, you can force this right out and you'll just tear the double-sided tape, but I kind of want to keep the double-sided tape in good condition. You see it's slowly coming. Just very slowly working my way around. Looks like I still managed to rip some of it anyway. But yeah, there you go. That's all this guy is. It's just it's double sided sticky tape and this aluminum case. Now to disassemble this guy. To disassemble this guy, we need to take, let's see, these two screws, or these four screws out around the edge. top part of the enclosure is actually held in with these little plastic clips. So you just want to carefully pry them outward and work the drive out. So I'm doing is letting the screwdriver here just act as a little bit of slight leverage to it. I'm not pushing on it. I'm just letting the weight of the screwdriver help me Slowly pull it you off. Know, get these around the clips. See, as I popped them ever so slightly upward, I might actually have 
enough is our USB 3 Thunderbolt adapter card and this is part of the reason these guys are so expensive look at this look at the uh, look at all the freaking chips on this thing it's got a ton of stuff going on now we'll unscrew it from here set these two screws off to the side and now it's just a matter of slide it off There we go. It's on there pretty tight. Just slides straight back. Now, our old hard drive in this was a Samsung Momentus ST500LM012. That is a Sierra Tango 500 Lima Mic 012. I'm gonna look up specs on that, but as far as I know, it's a Momentus 5400 RPM drive. Just curious to see what kind of cache it's got. Now, as far as this guy, this is a Nexstar, uh, Vantech Nexstar that I got off of Newegg, I don't know, eons ago it feels like. This guy on the other hand, taking it apart, is a snap. And I do look forward to there being more Thunderbolt enclosures on the market that will be this easy to work with. Take out these two screws up front, two screws on the side, solid aluminum case. And then just wiggle this back end out. There's everything. I guess technically you don't have to take two front drives out or the two front screws out. Now the drive that's gonna be going into this is a is a Hitachi Apple 750 gig 7200 RPM drive. This one is model number 7 kilo 750-750. And I'm not sure how much cash this guy has. Probably end up looking it up at some point. But this guy is going to go on to here. Carefully push that into place. Take our screws. Put them back up. Take our cage. Wanna make sure we put it on the right way. Slide it into place. this guy and we can set it back into place here actually tell you what, why don't we take this guy and set it back into place like so just kind of wiggle wedge everything back in nice and neat yeah I think this will be a little bit easier and now that I have this entire assembly come in Get my ports lined up in the back. And this really should just be a matter of kind of push it in place. Make sure that my metal's getting past all the plastic hookups. Work my way around. Oh, as with any of this, you want to take your time. Don't 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 rush things. You always end up screwing up stuff when you rush things. There we go, you hear everything snapping and snicking into place now. All right. And then, we'll just line this up. Oh wait, we gotta put our four screws back in, almost forgot. Once you get there, once you get this plastic piece finally in, 
which is kind of a bear. You just want to take your time with it, go slow, work your clips in a little bit at a time. Make sure you've got everything lined up properly, make sure nothing's upside down, anything like that. I suppose if you planned on going in and out of this drive a lot, um, well, honestly, I don't see how you could go in, this, in and out of this drive a lot. Uh, simply because these, these little white plastic tabs are extremely fragile. Insert and remove a drive frequently without eventually breaking those tabs off. So I certainly wouldn't recommend that. I would definitely say whatever you're intending to put into it, do it and leave it be. Press everything down nice and neat. Make sure our rubber feet are back up proud. And there you go. We have a 750 gig 7200 RPM Buffalo drive now. The old drive. I'm just going to quickly pop back into the old USB 2.0 enclosure. And once I've done that, I will format this because it's going to be going on my wife's computer, which she's got a you know, Windows 7 PC. And like I said before, I really look forward to being able to get a Thunderbolt enclosure just like this. Much easier to work on. I mean, really only two screws. I didn't have to take these bottom two screws out. I think these just hold the front end, front end of the case together. Alright. Now we have a 750 gig 7200 RPM Thunderbolt drive with a 500 gig 5400 RPM USB 2.0 enclosed drive. Put my tools away and then I will go benchmark this guy. I'm very curious to see how it does. The stock drive in this I was getting about 104 megs read and write, um, which not bad really for a 5400 RPM drive. It's, it's been a little while since I've been benchmarked one. I'm very impressed uh, at what kind of difference these platter densities have actually made to real world usage. It used to be, I, mean, I remember when 5400 RPM drives were, you know, they were amazing speed. We, we had very, very slow drives back in the day. Oh, shoot, I remember when we did this before. Man, I'm, I feel old saying that. Just hit 30, so I'm like, man, I remember when they, uh, we didn't have hard drives. And gosh, I feel old. But yeah, there we are. Everything's nice and put back together. Uh, I'm looking to see if I have any kind of a seam or anything where it's noticeable. Um, I can't see any kind of, yeah, anything. This is my little on-the-go drive, so yeah, let's go benchmark this.